Physical properties of LC materials show a certain temperature dependence and a change in temperature may influence different optical SLM properties. For example, phase shift, switching speed, and phase stability. Furthermore, SLM displays have their own power dissipation which varies between products and configurations. To keep the performance and temperature stable or if higher power lasers are used, an active thermal management system should be used. Holoi offers two different thermal management systems. A thermal management system based on a Peltier element in combination with a passive heatsink, which is called the TMS-1, and a system based on an active water cooling mechanism, the TMS-2. The TMS-1 is based on a Peltier element in combination with a passive heatsink and can both cool and heat up the SLM display. The TMS-1 system contains the TMS-1 head and control unit. Also included is a mini USB to USB cable and a power supply. First connect the 6 pin cable from the control unit to the TMS-1 head. Now connect the control unit to a USB port of your computer using the mini USB to USB cable. Finally connect the power supply to the control box. After finishing all these steps, the setup should look like this. The TMS-2 with active water cooling is especially designed for the use with high power lasers. The TMS-2 kit comes with the TMS-2 head and the control box. Also included is a mini USB to USB cable, a 12 volt power supply, a data cable and two water tubes. First connect the water tubes to the control box as shown in this animation. Now connect the other end of the tubes to the TMS2 head using the same procedure. Connect the data cable to the control box and tighten it by rotating the cap clockwise. Connect the other end to the TMS2 head. After finishing all these steps, the setup should look like this. Before you switch on the control box, you need to fill up the container of the control box with cooling liquid. Open the cap on top of the control box using a thin coin or a screwdriver. Now fill in the cooling liquid until the container is full. Please use the supplied cooling liquid which contains anti-corrosive protection additives. Connect the control box to a USB port of your computer using the mini USB to USB cable. Now connect the power supply to the control box. Switch on the control box. The system starts to pump the cooling liquid into the tubes. When the tubes are filled with water, switch off the system. Since some of the water now flowed into the tubes, you need to refill the tank. This time do not fill it up all the way, rather make sure that you stay within the upper third of the tank. Close the filler cap. To make sure that there are no air bubbles in the system cycle, you should shake the box carefully. Attach the SLM display to the TMS head and connect the SLM to the computer using the USB connection. The following part is applicable for both the TMS1 and the TMS2. Start the Spatial Light Modulator Configuration Manager software. The software automatically detects the SLM device which is connected and the TMS system. If you check the Auto Start checkbox, this dialog won't appear on the next start of the software. If a TMS system is connected, the software automatically starts at the Thermal Management System tab. At the Temperature Sensor Values box, you can activate and deactivate values to be shown in the TMS status graph. At the Regulate Display Temperature field, you can see the current display temperature and set the required target temperature. To activate the active temperature regulation, you have to check the box on top. 